Hello, so today we're unboxing a pretty special package. One that I didn't actually get on sneakers because I had to pay resale because there's only about 2,000 pairs in the whole of Europe, I think. So pretty crazy numbers. There was a lot more in the US, but it was actually really hard to get in the UK. And for certain places, you actually had to hit a driver over 200 yards to be able to purchase a pair of these. So pretty excited to open these up and take a look at them. So we'll open them up. So if you haven't guessed already or seen the thumbnail, these are the Travis Scott Nike collaboration for the Golf. And we'll just open these up. I'm really excited about these. So if you didn't know, I actually do play golf. I'm not very good, but I might actually wear these on the course. Maybe they'll make me play better. Spin it upside down because they always package it in such a tight box. So it seems to come in a normal Travis box. I've had them all, so I've had the reverse mocha, the original, the fragments, the black ones. I've had all of them, even the olives. And I was a little bit surprised. I thought this would come in a little bit of a different box, but it seems to be exactly the same. So we'll open these up. I'm expecting these to be spectacular. So it comes with Cactus Shack pink paper as always. And here they are. Check them out. So take the left one out as well. It does come with three sets of spare laces as you can see here. Put them to the side. We'll move the box to the side and take a closer look at the shoes. So here they are, the Nike Travis Golf Collaboration. What do you think of them? I think it's a really nice colorway. I guess they just kind of mixed up the colors that they did on the olive and put them in different places, but I still think it's a really nice shoe. So let's take a look at some of the details. On the back of both of them, they have the embroidery on the heel in this kind of luminescent yellow really quite hard to see in certain lightings but it is there i promise you so that embroidery on the heel actually matches the tongue tag as you can see here where it has the jumpman and the golf logo as you can see there so because this is a golf silhouette and you're actually expected to play golf in them they do come with extra grippy tread on the bottom as you can see here which is meant to help you not slip over on the golf course also has nike golf on the bottom here which is a cool little detail that you obviously do not get on any of their Travis models. On the inside of the shoe, you do have the Cactus Jack logo in a black color, which actually stands out and makes it a lot clearer than it does on some of the other colorways. On some of the other colorways, you can't actually read this very well because it actually blends in with the material beneath. So overall, the shoe is an olive green color, which is a Nubuck suede material. And then on top of that is this white leather on the panels going around the outer side, as you can see here. And then the classic Travis backward swoosh is in a black and on the inside, it's actually a white to match the leather here. So they come pre-laced in white lace, as you can see here. But like I said earlier, they do come with three sets of spare laces. So you get this kind of like almost luminous yellow one here, which actually gives a little bit of a green vibe. Then you get this kind of brown colorway as well in the laces. And finally, you do get a black spare lace as well. Another cool fact about these shoes is because they are a golf silhouette, they are actually waterproof so you get a little label here just to say that the shoes are waterproof which is probably a necessity here in the uk if you're playing golf in these they're gonna have to be waterproof so i'm glad they did that because if they weren't you'd probably wear them once a year if you were going to play golf in them so we'll have to try these out in the rain so i do have a comparison coming very soon between a real and fake pair I'm not sure if it's going to be this week or next week i've got both pairs in hand i just need to film it and edit it but I'm really happy to get these in hand. I paid, I think it was £700 for them when they first came out. Resale's gone up and down, so I'm not really sure what it's at now. I think it's about £800, so could sell and make a profit. But I actually might wear these to play golf in, so let me know down below in the comments if you'd like to see that, because I'm very, very tempted. And let me know where this ranks between all the other Travises, and I might give a video comparing all of them. This colorway actually looks really nice. I think it might look actually a little bit better in photos than it does in hand but that might be just be my opinion so let me know down below in the comments what you think of it and did you manage to pick up a pair because it was absolutely impossible there was such limited supply on sneakers that they actually did a weird raffle so you had to have entered three travis scott releases before and lost them all also you had to purchase a nike golf silhouette in the past year i had done all these so i had entered three travis scott releases obviously because i entered them all and then for the golf shoe, I actually picked up a pair, which is there. So I picked up this pair, which is actually quite similar to the Travis Scott's. So I picked up this pair and as you can see, I've worn it. So it's absolutely ruined. So you can see 
very similar, but it's actually really similar because it's got the luminous yellow on the back, as you can see here, creamy vibes. Yeah, so if you couldn't pick up these and don't want to pay resale, I'd recommend picking these up because I think they're about 100 quid. Do basically the same job, just don't have the Travis vibes. But yeah, really happy with these. So yeah, I would followed all the instructions for purchasing the sneakers release. And yeah, I still didn't get exclusive access. So I want to know if anyone actually did because I've not heard of anyone getting exclusive access or anyone purchasing these other than from a store. So let me know down below. And apparently there was some controversy with the actual Travis release on their site saying it only went to influencers, but I didn't get the call up for that one either. So I had to pay resale, purchase these, and I'm quite happy with my purchase. I really like the colorway, but my favorite one so far is either the olive or the reverse marker because they're just so nice, really good in summer, but these might get ruined. I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of these, and I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. If you want to see anything else about this, stay tuned for the real versus fake. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an amazing day.